2024 Ford Maverick. Part of the Maverick's appeal is that it doesn't drive like a truck. Built on the same platform as the Ford Bronco Sport and Ford Escape, the Maverick is more akin to a crossover SUV that happens to have a truck bed rather than an enclosed cargo area. All Mavericks are four-door crew cabs with seating for five, and they provide plenty of storage locations inside the cabin for added versatility. Ford has had great success with pickup trucks, and its F-150 full-size pickup has led the market for decades. Two years ago, the automaker applied its vast truck experience to its first unibody compact truck, the Ford Maverick. The perfect size for consumers who need light truck capability, the Maverick was an immediate hit and currently outsells the larger Ford Ranger pickup. Part of the Maverick's appeal is that it doesn't drive like a truck. Built on the same platform as the Ford Bronco Sport and Ford Escape, the Maverick is more akin to a crossover SUV that happens to have a truck bed rather than an enclosed cargo area. 2024 Honda Accord After five decades and eleven generations of models, the Honda Accord remains the best-selling car in the US. The 2024 Accord lives up to the nameplate's legacy of excellence, as it's one of the best and most popular midsize sedans available. Honda gave the Accord a complete redesign just last year that has kept it at the top of its class with sleek new styling, a sophisticated interior, and the latest high-tech features, including a large touchscreen display and built-in Google. Rear seat headroom is a bit tight if you're over 6 feet tall, but the Accord has the most rear seat legroom in this class and the largest trunk. Turbocharged and hybrid models are available, both offering strong fuel economy excellent build quality, and high safety ratings. Competitors such as the Nissan Altima, Kia K5, newly updated Hyundai Sonata, and the Accord's main rival, the Toyota Camry, do offer more powerful engines. But the Accord's two turbocharged models provide strong performance and value, while the more powerful hybrid models are quick enough to thrill and have some of the highest fuel economy ratings in the class. Every Accord is enjoyable to drive. 2024 Honda Creek V. The Honda CR-V is one of the best-selling SUVs in the US because it consistently checks all the boxes with a roomy cabin, generous cargo space, a smooth ride, and impressive fuel economy. The Honda CR-V has been the best-selling SUV in the US for the past 25 years and Honda's best-selling model every year since 2017. Completely redesigned just last year, it continues to hit the heart of the popular and competitive compact crossover segment. The CR-V delivers family-friendly space and features combined with strong fuel economy, excellent build quality, and high safety ratings. Its three turbocharged models perform well and offer strong value, while the more powerful hybrid models are surprisingly quick and have some of the highest fuel economy ratings in the class. All models are refined on the road with precise steering and a smooth, well-controlled ride. The CR-V handles well enough for most buyers, but it isn't as athletic as the better handling Mazda CX-5. Honda's all-wheel drive system is available across the lineup, but buyers looking for off-road performance should consider the Subaru Forester or Toyota RAV4, which offer trail-tuned packages. 2024 Kia Niro the five-seat Nero is Kia's smallest electrified SUV, slotting below the Sportage. It comes standard with a fuel-sipping hybrid powertrain, which won't win any drag races but delivers as much as 53 miles per gallon in mixed driving, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. For a bit more money, it can be upgraded to a plug-in hybrid, PHEV, with 33 miles of all-electric range and lots more zip. Kia also sells a pure electric variant, the Nero EV, which is reviewed separately. All versions of the Nero benefit from a 2023 makeover, which gave it a more modern look and additional room inside for passengers and their stuff. Like most Kias, the Nero comes with a long list of desirable features and tech. They include wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration, and a generous suite of advanced driver aids. Top trims introduce premium goodies, such as a Harman Kardon audio system and heated and ventilated front seats. But they come with a premium price tag that undermines one of the Nero's core strengths, its affordability. 
In recent years, the Nero had the hybrid subcompact crossover market all to itself. 2024 Kia Sportage it's been almost 30 years since Kia introduced the Sportage to the American market, making it the longest-lasting nameplate for the Korean brand. Fast forward to 2023, when Kia introduced the fifth generation of this small crossover SUV. Not only is the current Sportage the largest the company has ever offered, but it also features a stylish exterior design specific to the brand's SUV lineup. We expect to see this new look carry through to other models in the future. The five-passenger crossover class is among the most competitive, with models such as the Toyota RAV4 and Honda CR-V among the best-selling vehicles in the US. The 2024 Sportage may not be quite as popular as the Toyota or Honda, but with a long list of standard equipment and the latest advanced driver assist systems, the Kia is certainly worth considering. The 2024 Kia Sportage offers three different powertrains, including a hybrid and plug-in hybrid system. All offer good fuel efficiency, and the plug-in hybrid can provide an estimated 34 miles of electric-only driving range. 2024 Toyota Corolla Cross Toyota's entry in the ever-growing subcompact SUV sweepstakes is the 2024 Toyota Corolla Cross, a small crossover based on the long-running Corolla sedan. You wonder why Toyota didn't think of this before, package all the best aspects of the Corolla into a taller and longer SUV body, but still smaller and more affordable than a RAV4. Actually, Toyota did think of this before. The quirky CHR was the first example of this thought exercise, but ultimately it was too weird to last. The Corolla Cross picks up the thread, though, with a more conventional design, more power, and more versatility. It offers a little something for everyone, with optional all-wheel drive, an available hybrid model, and an expanding list of features a Euro heated seats, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, leather upholstery a Euro as you move up the trim levels. A generous bundle of driver assist features is included in higher trims. The Corolla Cross isn't especially inspiring to drive, and that's why competitors such as the Honda HRV and Kia Niro Hybrid are also worth a look. 2024 Toyota Prius Improved body rigidity and handling haven't transformed the Prius into a sports car overnight, but it's no longer a numb embarrassment when pushed through a quick corner, either. More important, the Prius remains a fuel efficiency champ and an aspirational target for hypermilers. With 49 to 57 miles per gallon, the Prius is both a tech triumph and king of the commute. Crossovers and SUVs are rapidly replacing sedans and hatchback-like sedans, leaving the Prius with few direct competitors. The Kia Niro Hybrid, a small hatch with a bit more cargo space, comes close but falls a bit short in fuel economy. The Hyundai Elantra Hybrid is about the same size as the Prius, costs less, and comes close in efficiency. Toyota Euro TMS own Corolla Hybrid Sedan is about the same size and costs less, but it can't match the Prius liftback versatility, and the hatchback version isn't available as a hybrid. Recently redesigned with surprisingly stunning results, Toyota's original hybrid is again an aspirational car. Not a fast sports car or an adventurous off-roader, the 2024 Toyota Prius is nonetheless a car we want to drive again, 